TRS chief's daughter, K. Kavata, was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate on Friday. She was held hours after the investigating agency conducted searches at her Hyderabad residence in connection with money laundering linked to the alleged Delhi liquor policy scam case. India Today has learned that Kavita's legal team will seek an urgent hearing before the Supreme Court today. Kavita's team has claimed that she couldn't have been arrested considering the Supreme Court's interim order of protection. Meanwhile, K. Kavita's arrest has triggered a war of words with opposition netas targeting the BJP. Condemning Kavita's arrest, the opposition has alleged that BJP is using probe agencies to suppress opposition parties. Remember, K. Kavita was questioned thrice last year in connection with this case. Now, one of the accused, Amit Arora, alleged that she was part of a liquor lobby called the South Group, which paid as much as 100 crore rupees kickbacks to many Ahmadmi party leaders, allegedly. When the matter was listed in Supreme Court, the court adjourned the case as it is a miscellaneous day on Friday. So it has adjourned to Tuesday. And from earlier onwards, they were undertaken given by a law officer stating that no court steps will be taken in this case. But yet, the ED people have barged into Kavita's house and they have arrested her, which itself is illegal. The arrest itself is illegal because this case, in this case, one of the prayer was not to take any courts or steps against her. So being that so, ED people have come to her residence and uh, they have arrested her now. So even in, even in the matters, notice was issued, it was tanked along with other matters like Nalini Chidambaram, Abhishek Banerjee. While doing so, leave was also granted in this matter. उनके बेनामी शेयर्स थे एक ऐसी लिकर कंपनी में जिसको बहुत ज़्यादा लिकर पॉलिसी में बेनिफिट दिया गया दूसरी तरफ ये आरोप था कि जो साउथ लॉबी है उसमें वो उनके साथ मिली हुई थी जिनके साथ आम आदमी पार्टी के मिनिस्टर्स ने बैठकर ये पूरी की पूरी लिकर पॉलिसी बनाई स्वाभाविक की सी बात है कि जांच एजेंसियों ने जांच करी और हो सकता है कि इन्वेस्टिगेशन में उन्होंने कुछ पाया जिसके तहत उन्होंने अरेस्ट करा है my colleague Shreya Chatterjee, who tracks the Enforcement Directorate, is joining us from the ED office, from outside the ED office this morning. Shreya, uh, when is K. Kavita likely to be taken for medical checkup and then subsequently produced in court? Uh, Palmi, what we are learning so far that uh, K. Kavita's medical checkup has uh, already happened inside okay. uh, the enforcement directorate. We did see um, the doctors come in, so subsequently, uh, in a very short while, we will actually be seeing her taken to court uh, where the enforcement directorate will be seeking her custody. On the other hand, we will be seeing uh, K. Kavita's team actually opposing the same uh, on the grounds that they are moving Supreme Court challenging the arrest. So how that pans out in the court is something think that we'll have to wait and watch for now but right now we do know that her medical checkup has already been done and uh, likely uh, somewhere around 10 is when uh, K. Kavita will be taken here uh, from the enforcement directorate to uh, uh, the, uh, the Rouse Avenue court where the matter will be heard. Right. Uh, Shreya, just uh, give us a sense of the case against K. Kavita. She's denied any involvement. Uh, one of them, Arun Ramachandran Pillai, made a statement then retracted it. But it appears that Buchi Babu's statement is the statement that possibly has got K. Kavita in trouble. If you can just elaborate on what are the charges against her. Well, the main charges against K. Kavita is uh, her alleged involvement in the South lobby, which wanted undue advantages in uh, formulating a cartel that could be managed in uh, this entire little policy scam when it was being drafted. The allegations also suggest that the South lobby together uh, gave kickbacks to the tune of 100 crores, which was allegedly received by Vijay Nair, who's been suggested as someone close to uh, Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia. This is something that the enforcement director is investigating. Investigating, we've seen uh, multiple people. That includes, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the likes of uh, 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 Buchi Babu being questioned. We've seen uh, Magunta Reddy being questioned. Remember, these people have already been investigated by the ED. We also do know that there are uh, confessions that uh, that the ED has in the form of statements, which they are using to investigate the matter further. Uh, K. Kavita, in all likelihood, uh, Polomi, once the ED secures custody.
Sanjay Dee will be facing cross-questioning with the others accused in the case. So it's an important matter pertaining uh, to that. But we'll have to wait and watch on what transpires in the court because the team of K. Kabita continues to harp that uh, the uh, arrest is not done in the due manner because she okay. had protection against no course of action. So we'll have to still wait and watch for how much custody ED manages to get of her. Okay, Shreya there, tracking all those uh, developments, Shreya there, of course, updating us that K. Kavita's medical checkup has been conducted already inside the Enforcement Directorate's office. So it's likely that in a short while from now, she will be taken out of the ED office and produced before a designated court. So another political arrest in the Delhi Liquorgate scam case. The Enforcement Directorate on Friday arrested BRS MLC. K. Kavita from her Hyderabad residence in connection with the money laundering case which is related to the Delhi liquor policy scam case.